their request and I made uh, a tree and a bird nest. And, I, and it, the bird nest has little robin eggs in it. My name is Alan Payne and I created my keychain in five minutes. Um, this is my keychain. It's OBJ, a little bit of a hey. and I created it from this video. I just learned that we... Hi, my name is Hannah, and I made the Easter Bunny uh, eggs are right there, and it's got a uh, ear and a floppy ear, and um, put it on the ground, and it's in a little basket. The eggs are in a basket. Hi guys, my name is Daniel Lobster, and I made this neon tower. How I made multiple was I click Control Duplicate. Control D and I made a bunch of different ones. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Guys, I'm Holden, sixth grade computers, Mr. Harmon's class, and today I made a toilet. Hi, my name is Ella Sandstead and this is what I made on Tink. You can't already tell, I made Pinocchio and I based it off of the po Pinocchio from Shrek. I used a scribble to make his hands and I used a variety of different shapes to make his body and his head. You can really make something like this because it's so much fun and you can design it however you want. Hey, what's up guys? This is Levi, the one who made the plane. So then I saw this diamond thing where it looked weird. It looked really weird actually in first place. And um, we looked at it and we kind of tested it. And when it looks like this, it looks like a diamond, but in the mirror, it looks like a circle. It works both ways, like with a circle, it looks like a diamond C. And it looks really cool, and thank you, Mr. Harmon, for making this happen, and bye, guys. Hi, everyone, it's Giselle here, and I'm going to show you how to make some flowers using the duplicate function. So, first, you're going to need the scribble tool. And then just draw any shape you like. I recommend starting with a line. And then shrink it down to one. And then you can change how long it is. And then I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. And then rotate it and just hold down Control D, and then it makes a really cool flower. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hi, my name is Hannah, and I'm in Mr. Herman's fourth hour class, and I made this um, kind of like an artist on vacation. Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. I am Mackenzie Morales, and I am in Mr. Herman's fourth hour, and today I'm going to be showing you this cool out figure. <laughs> elf girl that I made and then I added a little bow to make it look super cool. Bye! Hi guys and happy Easter. So today I'm going to be showing you this amazing Easter bunny with a basket full of eggs tied for the children. Alright, so I used the tower thing to make giant robots fighting each other. Made the head out of spheres. See the other guy's face. Hello friends, I'm on Tinkercad, and today I'm gonna be showing you this awesome house that I made. I know the house I didn't make, but the rest I made, like these are kind of the chimney. We have a cool pathway right here with like two entrances and two light poles. See, I made a character with bunny ears, sunglasses, a mustache, ice cream, and he had a knife. I also added in some cool decorations with a satellite and a tree with some trees. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, it's me and Nash again and today we have made a uh, home run derby. And it's pretty easy to play, the instructions are on the top that you can read later or you can pause the video and read now. But basically all you do is you come over here and you take one of these balls and you put it on top and then use the arrow keys to control the bat. And then yeah! Nash can hit it for once in his life. Wait, no, I didn't swing it. Don't count. Oh my and god, Nash can hit it. The, uh, go, 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 go. Run. go. Nash. Wait, I was going the wrong way. Oh. Swing the bat, Nash. We got stuck. I couldn't go, dude. I was going. Oh, We made a uh, soccer yes. stadium. And oh you can play god. soccer with your friends. So, oh. yeah, we're going to.
gonna show you what it's all about. So we are the triangles, no. and the triangles weigh a lot, so Gosh, they move they, slowly. Gosh, but then when you get them going, man. then they really start to fly. And the goal is to get in the other no. person's goal just Not like that. Hi, it's Giselle here, and I made a catapult oh my God, using Mr. Harmon's catapult design images. From all of these, I managed to create this little catapult here. As you can see, it's launching an ice cream cone, and there are more that are ready to launch. So this is the base, and these are the rubber bands that hold it down. And this little piece down here, it holds this band to this hook. Thanks, Mr. Harmon, for the idea, and I'll see you next time. After following Mr. Harmon's amazing city lesson, this is what I built. Trees and a road, and I made these buildings. And there's little astrobots that are conjoined together. This is Jadon Ward. This is how you make this look beautiful. You put on th put in this code. It's Danielle and Sister Reese, and I made this boat ship thing. I got the Rams Five, and I added that to the top of the. So if you see it, there's like windows and doors in the middle, and this is below surface. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Hi, my name is Brady, and I created this cool mower to get ready for spring. For the body, and then just got some wheels. Used a cylinder to hold the blade in place. Hi, I'm Ariana from Mr. Harmon's fourth hour class, and using a video in Google Classroom, I made an aquarium with clownfish, and I added some coral. Are you ready, big girl? Are you ready? Get it, Bailey! Oh, right. Way to go, big girl!